Chris is sick. We've tried everything to try to make him feel better, but nothing seems to be working. Unfortunately, the doctor is out of the office for a few days, and we can't get in to see him until next week. Unsure about what to do next, I remembered a time when Chris was very young, and he had a lot of diarrhea and vomited so much that we took him to the emergency department. It ended up that he was sick with a virus that causes gastroenteritis, which made him very dehydrated because more fluids were coming out than staying in. Luckily, they gave us an information sheet about the virus and what to do in case it happens again. It certainly seems like he has gastroenteritis again. I'd better check to see if he is dehydrated. That was what made it so serious last time. Viral gastroenteritis. How can I tell if my child is dehydrated? Signs of dehydration include Thirst, no tears when crying, sunken eyes, dry mouth, infrequent peeing, cold hands and or feet, extreme tiredness. He doesn't seem to be dehydrated. He's just tired and wants to feel better. Should we take him to the emergency department? When should I bring my child to the emergency department? Child is extremely tired. There are no tears when crying. No pee for about 12 hours. Overall, more fluid coming out, vomiting diarrhea, than going in, drinking. Stomach pain is not centered around the belly button. Persistent dark green throw up, vomit puke. Blood in poop, diarrhea. Since he doesn't seem to have any of these symptoms, I think we can give him Tylenol, a brand of acetaminophen, to reduce his fever, and some sips of Pedialyte, a brand of oral rehydration solution, to keep him hydrated and wait to see if he improves. We might even try to give him some sips of clear soup to give him some added energy. If after two to three days he still doesn't have any of the symptoms, yet isn't improving, we'll take him to a doctor. This video was brought to you by Echo, Arch, and Trek, and it was funded by the Canadian Institutes of Health Research.